Once you have your classes set up and you have students in your classes, then you can begin adding assignments. It is important that you have students in there or it will not let you add assignments. Um, there are two ways that you can add assignments. One of them is from your teacher dashboard. So underneath where you added your classes, you can also add assignments or you can go to individual classes and add assignments there. I'm going to add a new assignment. And if you know the topic that you want, you can just type it here. So I want to teach rounding. And I want my students to watch the movie on rounding. And I would like them to do the vocabulary on rounding and do the related reading on rounding. I press next. Instructions. Once I'm done with my directions, then I press next. And then I can decide which classes, which class or classes I want to complete this assignment and the due date for the assignment. Once I've chosen all of the classes that I want to have this assignment, I press assign. And if I want to put this in Canvas or Google Classroom, I can copy the assignment link here. So I need a different link for period one and period two. So I want to make sure that I pay attention to that when I'm copying to Canvas or Google Classroom. And then I press OK and I am done with my assignment. But if I don't already know what those assignments look like, this might not be the best place for me to build my assignment because um, I might want to just take a look at what's available first. So I can come to just the main BrainPop page and search. So let's say I want to teach a lesson on the Supreme Court. So I just search for Supreme Court and I see three topics here related to the Supreme Court. That means that I'll have videos, related reading, games, and then I see all of these games listed. So I can check each of those out and see what interests me. And after checking those out, I know that I'm interested in the Sortify with the U.S. Constitution, the Argument Wars, Supreme Court topic, and the Branches of Government topic. So I'm going to put those all into an assignment. I don't have to go all the way back to my dashboard to put those into an assignment, though. I can go straight from these topics themselves. So let's say I've gone to Argument Wars and I've checked it out. I'm right here at Argument Wars, which is a really cool game, by the way. The kids uh, play lawyers and they have argument cards and they have to play the cards with the arguments that best advance their case and they get points for advancing their case as best they can. Really cool, fun game. I ran across it while looking at a critical thinking lesson. All right, so I just press the assign button and it brings me back to the same assignment view. And I can just assign this game if I want to assign it alone, or if I want to put all of these assignments together, maybe I wanna make it a week long project. Um, I can add it to the assignment builder and I can start putting it together. So let's say um, I know that this is going to go um, as part of the Supreme Court topic. So I just search for Supreme Court and uh, I add the game that way. Argument Wars and now it's added. And I already know I want them to watch the Supreme Court movie and I want them to do the review quiz as well as the related reading and the graphic organizer for this. So now I've 
got all of that added. And I also was interested in having them do the sortify for the US Constitution. So I can go ahead and add that here. And I wanted them to do the branches of government. And notice it automatically selected related topics for me. So I don't even have to remember the other topic that I wanted. Yay, added the extra topic. And I want them to watch that movie. And I want them to do the challenge activity. And I want that one to be graded. And I would like them to do the primary source analysis, which does require flash. So you'll need to let your students know to um, enable flash if they're doing primary source analysis. And I'm done building my assignment now. So uh, I need to put the instructions here and assign it to a class. Give it a due date and press assign. And now I have created my assignment. So we have two ways to assign it. We can assign straight from the dashboard if we already know what it is that we want to assign, or we can explore through the main BrainPop page and then start assigning from there and get to the assignment builder that way. Happy brain popping, everybody.